let us see what are the main arthropod characters that are present in the peripatus which actually relate this peripatus or onychophora with the, with the arthropoda okay so the first one is the presence of antenna so antenna even though it is present we have to remember that it is not homologous with arthropoda but still the presence of antenna is one of the arthropodan characters that you cannot in case of the onychophora or peripatus second thing is we have learned about jaws or mandibles in case of the cockroach and all so that is one of the arthropodan character the similar kind of mandible or jaws are present in case of the peripatus we have already seen that so that is the second character which relate the peripatus with the arthropoda now the third one locomotion by definite legs we have seen locomotion by peristalsis in peripatus is one of the annelidian feature but similarly the locomotion in peripatus is also happening through the appendages which are known as the step foot so locomotion with the help of step foot is a characteristic feature of the peripatus which are relating with the locomotion with the help of appendages in arthropod so that is the third character now moving to the fourth one we know that uh, the chitin is the most important or the the organic material which is present in large amount among the animal world it is the second largest organic molecule which is present in the on the earth and the first molecule which are present in the animal kingdom the largest molecule which are present there. so the chitin is there it is due to the presence of chitin in case of the arthropoda that make the most common organic material in animal kingdom so arthropoda exoskeleton is made of chitin which are actually a homopolysaccharide made of n acetyl glucosamine that is present in case of the peripatus also so peripatus cuticle is with a thin deposit of chitin like arthropods okay so that is the fourth important feature which is relating peripatus with the arthropoda now body cavity is hemocele we can see that when we have done the cross uh, dissection of cockroach the hemocele is there hemocele is nothing but the body cavities which is filled with the hemolymph or the body fluid a similar kind of hemocele is present in case of the peripatus or onychophora and uh, that is another feature which is relating with arthropoda now the coelom is restricted or reduced to a small cavities arranged around gonads or metanephridia so that is another feature which is relating peripatus with the arthropoda we can see here the coelom is restricted to this region in case of the arthropoda similarly we can see the same coelom restricted to this region okay now so it is coelom is coelom that is restricted to the body cavities around the gonads and metanephridia is a feature similar to arthropoda next one the peculiar salivary gland we can see that in case of the cockroach and other arthropods salivary gland is present you can see here you have to see the move, the hand that is moving so this particular region is actually representing the salivary gland you can see a tube like a salivary gland storage site bladder a similar kind of salivary gland is present in case of the peripatus you can see the green one which is running like here the white one is actually the slime gland that is not the salivary gland this the green one is the salivary gland okay so similar salivary gland is present in peripatus as well as the arthropod which makes the peripatus more related to the arthropoda now dorsal tubular heart so in this cross section we can see that the heart of you have to see the upper figure the upper part you can see the heart which is on the dorsal side of the dorsal side of the body and the similarly in the lower figure that is a cross section of the peripatus 
you can see the same kind of dorsal heart tubular heart present okay so that is another feature which is relating uh, peripatus with the arthropoda now the presence of tracheal respiratory system we have learned that the unbranched tracheal system is present in peripatus for respiration so similarly in arthropoda also we have learned about the tracheal system which are opening outside through regularly arranged spiracles but in case of the peripatus there is no regular arrangement of spiracles that is the only difference but ultimately tracheal respiratory system is present in arthropoda as well as in peripatus now considering the brain so brain is large in peripatus which is comparable with the arthropodan brain you can see here so this is uh, on the left side is the nervous system of the arthropoda and on the right side the nervous system and other features of the peripatus you can see here the large brain on the upper part is comparable with the brain of the peripatus you can see the commissure below the brain and then ventral nerve cord the difference in the ventral nerve cord is we can see number the ventral nerve cord with the ganglia in arthropoda but it is without ganglia in peripatus that is the only difference anyway the brain is large sized which is comparable with the arthropodan brain now the general structure of the reproductive organs is also resembling the reproductive organs of the arthropoda we can see here in this figure the upper left portion is the reproductive male and female reproductive system of the arthropoda this one this is a female the leftmost one is the female reproductive system and the right of the left figure is the male reproductive system which is comparable with the the female reproductive system of the peripatus that is given here we have learned about the reproductive system which is formed of ovary then oviduct uterus then opening now similarly even though it is different shaped but the pattern of structure or is same similarly in the male reproductive system it is composed of testis seminal vesicle vas deferens etc and that is comparable with the arthropoda so the reproductive structure is also showing similarity with the arthropoda in peripatus so that are the main features which make peripatus more resemble to the arthropods or more connected to the arthropods so as peripatus are showing the features which are similar to annelida and which are similar to arthropoda it is now considered as a connecting link between arthropoda and annelida so these features are also important because the affinities of peripatus with arthropoda can also be asked in the university examinations now we are just moving into molluscan character only two characters are there which is making uh, peripatus comparable to the mollusca first one is the slug like appearance you can see the leftmost upper and lower figure the, the lower, lower one, one is, is the mollusca and upper one, one is the peripatus which are almost looking same except for the velvet nature of the skin so a sluggish appearance is the slow moving appearance is the that is comparable with the mollusca and feature and the second thing is the nervous system ladder like a nervous system you can see the rightmost two figures you can see the first one is the peripatus nervous system and second one is the molluscan nervous system so the two ventral nerve cord is present in peripatus similarly you can see the nerve cord that is present in the mollusca so these are the molluscan features that is present in the peripatus even though it is a superficial in nature we are just making it as a character of the molluscka so you have to remember that it we cannot consider as a link between with the molluscan but still a superficial resemblance with the mollusca is also shown by the peripatus 
again the reference list so you can go through it so that's a uh, that's about the file monica fora and the uh, other features we have covered this topic in three different uh, parts the first part we have discussed with the uh, the general features of the monica fora second part we have discussed the uh, example peri patterns and third part uh, we have discussed the affinities of peri patterns or onico fora with analyte with phylum arthropoda and with phylum mollusca So that's the end of the sections and thank you.